Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to create a health bar using XNA. So just before we start coding, I just want to go over what we'll be using. We'll be going to be using two assets, uh, health kind of bar and the container of the health bar. The logic we're going to use to create this is this will be the texture stays constant, so that's going to be your, the, the texture that's on top of the gauge. And we're going to create a health bar by using this texture and we'll change the width of the texture depending on how much health the player has. So if the player's got full health we'll draw the whole texture. If the uh, player only has half health we'd only draw half the texture and that's going to give us the effect of the health bar. So create a project, I've just called mine health bar tutorial and the first thing we'll do is we'll add those assets. I I'm going to upload these uh, really bad drawings <laughs> to my website. It's in the link in the description, uh, or you can use your own. But if you want to use these ones, although they're not great, please uh, uh, help yourself and just download them. Um, and we'll get started on this uh, actually coding it. So, first things first, let's just um, build, create a new class. And we'll call this health bar. So from already talking about the problem we're going to solve, so health bar, we know straight away we need two textures. So, oh, very important. First things first, apologies, add your using statements. We want to use the Microsoft framework, XNA framework. So just copy from your game class and paste that in. Uh, so a texture to date. And we're going to have a container, so we'll call this um, container, yeah. And the actual bar itself, um, so we're already in the health bar class, so we'll just call it bar. Um, in fact, we'll call it life, life bar. It's a bit more descriptive. And we will need to hold a position of these textures. And what else do we need at this stage? I think that's it. Something very simple. So let's create the constructor. We will need I want to load the content the textures in this class, so we'll need a content manager to load them in. And that's it. That's all we need. And let's see, we'll set the position equal to new vector 2. Let's just put 100, 100, just a random coordinate. Okay, so like we said there, we want to be able to lo load the content. And that's going to have the content manager. So we've got two textures to load. So we have the container, and that is equal to the content dot load. It's a texture two D, and the asset name is the health bar dot png. No, it's just health bar. Sorry, no extension. And do the exact same again. We'll just copy that, and that is life bar, and it is health gauge. Okay, now we want to actually load that content, so we need to call it and pass in that content object. Perfect. And we will need a update method and a draw method, which will pass in a sprite batch object. Okay, the update we'll, we'll work on later on. Let's just get the the, the life bar drawing. So we need uh, two life calls. Uh, draw calls. Uh, the order is important. We will want to keep the container on top. So we'll draw this first and then draw this second because X and A draw order goes on, well, this, the default is the, the, the order you call it in. So from back to front. So if we want the health, the life bar to be the back, we'll draw that first. So sprite batch dot draw. 
So the texture name is life bar, position, and color.white. Standard. And exact same again, but this time we will draw the container. Uh, position again and color dot white. Okay, good. Um, well, let's just add that. Let's create the object and get it drawn to the screen so we can see what we've got so far. So we have health bar, health bar, and we'll initialize it in the load content method. So health bar is equal to new health bar and pass in the content. Although it does nothing yet, we'll get ready for it. So uh, health bar dot update. Let's get rid of some of these. And sprite batch dot begin. Sprite batch dot end. And all we have to do is call the uh, draw method of the health bar. So we've already drawn all that and passed in the sprite batch object. So now, fingers crossed anyway. Yeah, we've got that working. So now, really, all you need to do is set up a little bit of simple logic to change the size of that life bar, and we've got we've got a, a pretty nifty uh, health bar already. Um, so let's make it very simple just now. Let's create an integer, and let's call it full health, and if we think of this logically, full health is going to be when, oops, I clicked on the wrong thing there, Just get rid of that, is when we draw the full width of the texture. So, full health, the easiest way to do this is when we initialize the object, make the full health equal to the width of the texture. So, it's what, life bar dot width. That's the best way to do it, so no matter the width of our size of our texture, the full health will always be the, the full width of the texture. However, the draw method we're using just now doesn't, it will always draw the full texture. We need to use one of the other other draw overrides, which is, um, I wonder if I can bring up, it's, yeah, here we go. It's the source rectangle. The source rectangle, um, will draw this depending on, on the size of the rectangle. So the size of the rectangle is the full width, it will draw the full width. The size of the rectangle is half width, it will draw half of it. So the position is always going to be the same, so we don't have to worry about that. In position dot x and int position dot y. But this is the bit which is important, the width. So the width is going to be well, we don't have a variable for it yet, but I'll just call it current health. And since we're using a horizontal health bar, we'll keep the height uh, the same all the time. So we'll just put uh, life bar dot height. Okay. Now I'll explain this again because this is the the main main point of this tutorial. What we want to draw is what the current health is of of um, the player. So if he's got full health, we want to draw the full width of the texture. If he's got half health, we only want it to draw half. So at the moment, it's not going to draw anything because we need to actually create the variable. So we'll make an integer, we'll make call it current health. Now, before we do anything, as you can see, it's empty. That's due to the fact that um, We've said we've we've put it there, but it can't. We've, it's never assigned, but it is initialized. So an integer's default initialization is zero. So what it's drawing is at position x and at position y, draw zero of the width and full height. So zero of the width is not going to show you anything. So that's why we're not getting anything. If we were to put current health is equal to fifty, it draws some. So basically all you need to do is manipulate the current health to draw as much of the health bar as you want. So because we want to start off the player with full health, like in most games, just assign current health equal to full health 
in the constructor and we load it up. There we have it. It's a full health bar. Now there's a lot of improvements to be made on this and I will make a follow up tutorial to be able to change the colour of the health bar depending on how much health the player has. Um, things like that. And show different sizes of health bars and how you can have more than one health bar on the on the screen uh, and also try and do as much as you can yourself as well uh, I'd be interested to see the health bars that you come up with but uh, I'll definitely uh, do a follow up tutorial on this one and improve this even but uh, further but you can see how easy it is and, uh, and how quickly you can get a health bar into your game okay thanks very much for watching